welcome, welcome back. So obviously I'm like barely fitting in frame with this big old box we've got to review today. Very excited about these. I literally didn't even know that they'd been released. Like, I think I brought them up in my video about fall dolls that I wasn't buying. I'm not buying the other set of the like family na 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 surprise. But I literally had not realized that these were already available to purchase. So that was like an interesting surprise. Uh, my lovely husband did buy this for me and he did buy it on sale. So retail price is $75 in the United States and uh, he got it for me for 60, which is awesome because I can already tell you, I think that my main critique of this product is going to be the price. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Obviously, not enough surprise is a little bit less of a surprise. Now you can pretty clearly see everything that you're gonna get. I do, I mean, obviously if you've been watching this channel for a while, you've definitely heard me say that I love cats. So like the cat family was a no brainer, very excited about them. We've got art for all three here. And then obviously the big window on the back of the box, we've got more art for them as well as the panda family that is available. So yeah, super cute art. Uh, the box, I don't know how I feel about the box. Uh, first of all, it does say on the front that there's 12 accessories and I can only see four hair clips down here. I don't know if they're counting like the hats as accessories or what the deal is, or like maybe I'll find more as I open it. Not really sure, but that's intriguing me. And then my main critique is like, obviously this is really big. Like it's a really, really big box, but I feel like this little cat doll here, you could definitely have fit this over on top of the smaller na 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 doll and used a lot less cardboard and less plastic and less space. I don't know. So like, it's cute. It looks nice. Like the setup is pretty, but I do feel like there's a little bit of like wasted space here. That's not super necessary. So I don't know, but the dolls look really cute. And uh, obviously we'll know more once we unbox. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick off screen for you guys. And then I'll be right back and we can uh, see what everything actually comes with. See you in a second. Alrighty, so this is going to be everything that came in the Not Enough Surprise Cat Family Pack. I gotta say, while I was getting everything unboxed, um, definitely found some issues, so this might be a little more critical than I thought it was going to be, but we're going to power through together. <laughs> Starting off just the basic brush, iridescent purple color, cat ears, it's a brush for sure. Uh, we also got four clips, so a smaller and a larger one that just have pearls and a little like silver inlay then we have a small one also pearls but also has a little like cat head on the end there and finally a larger clip that says na 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 so uh, like I said in the intro those were the only four accessories that I could find looking like out of the box inside and now that I have everything unpackaged Still not really seeing 12 accessories. I literally don't know how you get 12 accessories out of this. Like if you have four hair clips, if you count the brush, that's five. If you count both hats, that's seven. But that's like really stretching it, especially considering this one doesn't even come off. So I have literally no idea what the packaging is doing, claiming that there's 12 accessories, because I would say I only have four. At the absolute most, you could like fight and say that there's seven. That's still not 12. So what's going on there, guys? Don't know about that. Uh, not starting off great. I'm going to go smallest to largest on these. This guy, I, I literally don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm sorry. I think it's Bisu. I don't know. But this is kind of the newer thing in the family pack where we've got the na, -na, -na teens, the regular na, -na, na And then this is like a little na, -na, na pet. Very cute, super soft, the legs and arms do have articulation and then the head can swivel as well. A little tail on the back, a little embroidered like paw pads, an embroidered face. So that's all very cute. I, I do really like the little cat doll. I mean, it is kind of hard to be fair to mess up a cat doll. Uh, the head is like hollow on the inside. You can squeeze it and so is the body. Obviously not as much because it's got like joints to it. So you can't squeeze it as much but that is also hollow. So it's not filled. It's not particularly heavy or anything. So, I mean, this is perfectly fine. No real problems with Bisu. He's cute, but like, 
not really anything super, super crazy special, if that makes sense. And then moving on to the regular size Na 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 Girl, this is Sophie Bell. So like I said, the hat is attached, it's sewn onto her head, so you can't remove this hat without, you know, lifting up all of her hair also. Sparkly inset cat ears. Cute, soft, all of the normal things you'd expect from a Na 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 Surprise. Her face is well printed. Looking very cute, I like her printed on pearl necklace and pearl bracelets here. We've got the usual na 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 articulation as well. Um, but the hair, it came packaged like this, and I'm sure that you can see that it doesn't look great. I don't know how to describe to you how bad it feels. Up to like this point, it feels fine. It feels like normal doll hair. It's all good. The end though is so ratty. It's not full of any sort of product. It literally, it feels like doll hair that is, you know, 10 years old that has been well loved. You know, like if you're buying an old Barbie at a thrift store, this is what you'd expect her hair to feel like. <laughs> Except she's brand new out of the box. So there's no real reason for her hair to feel like that and it is on both little twists that she has. This side is definitely less awful than this side but it's really bad like <laughs> that's that's really really bad it almost feels fried it's so bizarre i've never ever felt doll hair like that out of box so didn't love that definitely gonna be playing around to see if i can fix it make it a little bit better at worst case i can obviously cut it because the top portion is fine like the top portion is nice and smooth silky soft it's just the bottom is really like she was she was not packaged gently. As for her dress though, dress is pretty cute. I do like the 3D bow on the front, the fabric that calls back to her older sister. I will say that you can see her printed bra just because the cut of the dress is like not high enough to completely hide that. I do think, you know, the printing matches so it kind of lends itself to being fashionable, like an intentional choice. Um, but if you don't like that, that is something to note that you've are gonna have a little bit of a harder time positioning her dress, especially with the lace up top here, to not show that. That being said, the lace, different fabric, is a nice addition. And of course, the sparkly overskirt here. I do love seeing different fabrics on them, like having more than just one fabric per dress. I think that that is really, really nice. And she's got matching undies printed underneath as well. Her shoes are definitely the best thing about Sophie. I love these little booties. The buckles, the platform, of course the cats on the front. All the painting looks really solid. Molding looks solid. Like the shoes are unquestionably the best part of her. So yay for the shoes, but like not so great for everything else. I'm sorry, Sophie, you're beautiful. Like you look real cute. It's just the hair really, really threw me off on that one. And unfortunately, um, with Margot, her older sister, it does not get much better. I will say again, cute face. Like I love the face up for these dolls. I don't know if you'd still call it that considering it's printed on, but you know what I mean. Um, the hair at the bottom is definitely better. So still like twirled up like it was in the box for packaging purposes. Still a little bit frizzy towards the ends, but definitely nothing like Sophie's. However, if you turn her over, that might look a little weird to some of you, and it definitely looked a little weird to me. I, like, swear that was not anything I did out of box, or like getting her out of the box. She came like this. I literally took her out and then cut her hat off very, very carefully to make sure not to damage the hair, and this is what I found underneath. So it's literally just this lighter streak that she has but it's all super short. Like it's just randomly cut off and it's really, really nasty and frizzy like the ends of Sophie's hair. Like that looks so bad. That looks like a kid took scissors to an old Barbie and then threw it around a whole lot. And then someone decided to reuse the hair for the new doll. And it's right along her part. I like, I don't know what to say. That's awful. That's terrible. Yes, you can cover it with the hat. I don't have to see it when I'm displaying this doll. So like, like this, she's still cute. I'm not gonna say that the design is bad, 
but that is undeniably terrible quality rooting. So, that's great. <laughs> we love to see that. The actual rooting, I guess pretty par for the non -na teens. I don't even care about the rooting though, because I'm so thrown off with this one little stripe of awfulness. The rest of the hair, again, is fine. I just, I'm finding it very, very hard to move past that. So, uh, let's do so anyway. Jacket, very cute. All of the details are just printed on, but they are printed very, very nicely. I will say the detailing on the jacket is really pretty. Got little pocket flaps, the metallic. I love the hidden paw prints kind of throughout. You don't necessarily notice them super intensely. Ooh, focus, there we go. But I think that's a really cute little detail. Her patches have got cats on them, and of course cats on the back of the skirt, as well as one on the front of the skirt here. I like the shape of the skirt. I think that it's something a little bit more interesting than just a plain cut skirt with a little bit of like flow to it. I think that's a nice touch. Her shirt underneath says, I speak cute and adorable. It's fine, I guess. I think that it doesn't really match, like just a weird little graphic crop top. And then this more sophisticated looking to me outfit on top, it is kind of a weird vibe. I don't know, it could be a lot worse, like it's definitely not terrible. I just think it's an interesting choice. She does have printed bra underneath and also a couple of printed necklaces, which is kind of a shame because the cut of her shirt makes it so that you actually can't really see the printed necklaces and they're super cute. So like, I would have liked to have seen maybe like a lower neckline on this. You could see the detail there. Obviously you'd have to change the printing of the bra then. I just feel like that's a really cute detail of the chokers that you don't get to see because of the overall design. So kind of sad about that one. And of course, matching printed undies as well. Again, the shoes are great. They're not as cute as Sophie's, but they are still nice. Again, the printing and detailing on these I think is really nice. It's just everything else, not so great. So like overall, I think it's sad because if you just look at this, especially if I put her hat on <laughs> from far away, the designs are cool. Like the promo photos looked nice. I like the designs of these dolls. Like I'm still happy to have them because I can finagle my way into displaying them in a beautiful way. However, there's no reason that we should be seeing this bad of quality on dolls this expensive. The price point was already a huge issue for me because a Nana -na Teens doll in the United States is about $30. And then a regular Nana -na Surprise doll is about $20, which means if I were to buy these two separately, that's only 50 bucks. The price tag on this is $75 if you don't get it on sale like my husband did. So that's an extra $25 for a animal doll and four hair clips. That's not even like remotely worth it. It's absolutely ludicrous. I understand the packaging has to be a little bit bigger, but that box was so much bigger than it actually had to be. They definitely could have packaged it more efficiently. Like I'm literally speechless. I went into this thinking that it was gonna be a negative on the price point, but everything else was gonna be pretty okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting more angry the more that I talk about this because I'm just like the hair terrible the fact that they say that there's 12 accessories and there's definitely not 12 accessories a blatant lie like a blatant ripoff and then the idea that anyone would pay $75 and receive something like this I literally don't know what to say that is so baffling and sad to me so um very grateful that I was able to have it gifted to me, A, but also that my husband got it on sale. I just, like, I'm glad I have them because I can display them in a cute way. But I'm trying to make the best of what is realistically not a good situation. And I just am absolutely baffled. So, uh, too long didn't watch is don't buy these. Unless they go on a super, super sale, I would even say for the quality that is showing up here, $60 is too much. If they were good quality, you might be able to make an argument for it. But to receive something like that,
for that much money is absolutely ludicrous. So uh, unless they go down to like 30 on a clearance, I absolutely wouldn't get these. So sorry for the negative review, guys. Um, I hope that it was at least informative for you. I hope that this can, you know, let you know what to look out for so you know not to spend $75 on these. But uh, yeah, hopefully next week's gonna be a little bit more positive. I hope you could still enjoy the video though. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I'll catch you next week in the next one. Bye guys.